Oh, man, here we are. It's almost like I stopped the last video and started this one directly where I left off. It's wild. It's crazy. Revelio. You know, it's it's just ridiculous. All right, so we are going to... Uh, all right, so that's someone who got killed by dragons. We are going to um, go sell a bunch of shit in our inventory. That's what we're going to do. I don't know where the hell I am, by the way. Revelio. Scorch marks. Whoops. <laughs> I did this real Whoops. I probably shouldn't be going up. Maybe I should be. Oops. Don't mind me. Everything's cool. I gotta make sure I got room. I do not. Cool. I can put these on. Wait a minute, I'm already fucking wearing those. Nice. Get rid of these. I mean, there was something I couldn't wear though, remember? Unidentified back? Since when has there been some unidentified bullshit? I swear there was something I needed to be 15 to wear. It was this, but it's worse than this. Huh, isn't that fun? Okay. Hey, surprise. Oh, gotcha. 500 gold. Rebellion. The Frog Choir. Where the fuck am I, y'all? Where have I gotten myself off to? Bring your fucking ass over here. There's another one of these fucking things. Lumos. Sphinx area, okay. Revelio. It's behind that door. I'm about to just teleport out of here because I don't know where the hell I'm at. But I'd really love to find a um like a teleport shrine thing, like a fast travel point. Oh, I know where I am. I, yeah, okay. Okay. I know exactly where I'm at. What the hell is this for? Do I dare do this? The Dedalian keys are back. Aren't they brilliant? Who? What in the hell are what we talking about? What you did in Cross Ones Is everything all right? Yes. I'm sorry. I'm just... I'm Nelly, by the way. I'm just up, girl? so excited that the Dedalian keys are back. The what keys? The Dedalian keys. Surely you've seen them flying about. Rumor is that a former headmistress, Professor Moll, conjured them to protect the contents of certain locked cabinets years ago. Professor Black couldn't be bothered to disenchant the keys, and they appear every few years. You should try to catch one. Why would I do that? Each key will lead you to a locked cabinet somewhere in the castle. If you can manage to get the key into the cabinet lock, not an easy task, you may find a reward. Hmm. Perhaps I'll give it a go. I hope you do. In fact, I think I heard one of the keys in the astronomy tower. You should listen for them. I hope you follow a few keys at least. 
If you manage to open a cabinet, I'd love to know what you find, if anything. Revelio. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. I'm about tired of hearing that fucking line. Fuck a gobstone. Duncan owes his reputation to you. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. All right, I'm running my ass way up here. We need to go sell shit, okay? Jesus Christ, we need to go sell shit. Whoops. I can't help you right now. I'm busy. Revelio. Gardens at Hogwarts are impressive. I kill. Throw us over here. With the help of house. All right, get the hell out the way. Um. Let me go. Revelio. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Christ, what a Jesus Christ, what a run. As a Dalian key, I wonder where it might lead me. Oh, so don't pick it up. I just followed a bitch. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented blue power. There's the cabinet. How do I get this key in there? What? Oh, I gotta slap it right when it's okay. Oh, okay, okay. Come on. Come on, little guy. Hi. Doing okay? Just flutter on by across. That's Bitch. it. <laughs> there you go. Slither in. Coin. Perhaps Nelly knows what it means. Perhaps she does. Perhaps I'm not running all the way down there. I may have teleported to the wrong place. I can't be sure. What are you up to now? None of your goddamn business, okay? Were you able to follow one of the Dedalian keys? Hello, Nelly. I managed to get a Dedalian key into its lock. Brilliant. What did you find in the cabinet? A curious token of some sort. Looks like some sort of house token. I bet it unlocks house chests. I call them house chests. I've seen the one in Gryffindor and heard they're also in the other common rooms as well. Keep an eye out. Okay, fair. I do hope you continue on. For so much effort, the prize must be something grand. I should see this through and find the Slytherin house chest. Yeah, we should. Here's what we sh should fucking do. Okay, are you ready? Are you ready? We should go to... The world map. We should go to this guy right over here. Doesn't this guy sell something? Who sold something? Where somebody had, you know what? Fuck it. Let's just go to Hogsmeade. And who sold shit here? Actually, can we buy a broom? and pack square steep land sons honey dukes what's this you see what did i do i hit the wrong button um let's just teleport here and just go in any random shop and just see if we can sell actually the dude who makes the clothes where's he at all the butterflies okay Let's just go. Oh, 
hopefully I can just sell anything to anybody. Because damn it, if I don't need to get shit out of my I should inventory. see this through and find the Slytherin house chest. Yeah, you should. That'd be crazy. Rebellion. That'd be crazy, right? Here's what you should do. Beetle the Bard is a bit <sighs> too hairy-hearted for my taste. Where's the store? Where could I buy shit from? Oh. Come on, dude. What the fuck? Show me something on the min mini map. Here we go. Hello there. In the market for potions, are we? No, I'm in the market for you to shut the hell up. Okay, that's a downgrade, so we'll sell it. Very good. Downgrade, sell Never it. hurts to keep my stocks replenished. Downgrade, sell it. Downgrade, sell it. Upgrade, keep it. Downgrade, sell it. Downgrade, sell it. Downgrade, sell it. Sell it. Sell it. Sell it. Sell it. All right, now wait right there. One second. I hope to see you again. You will. Relax. This is upgrade. So now I can sell the legendary. All this other shit should be empty now, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, relax. What can I do for you today? You can buy this shit right here. Now, what do you sell? Ashwander eggs, that bullshit. I feel like I got all bunch of this stuff. Okay. I don't need none of your I shit. Hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Mm hmm Relax. Okay. There has to be. There was a. I swear there was a broom store here or something. That's the Ollivanders. Oh, this guy. This is right here. Okay. Um. So it's back behind me, kind of the way I came. It should be this way. Round over here. Ah. Okay, am I fucking am I dumb as shit? Is this it? I see brooms out here. It's locked? Well fuck me. Tales of Beetle the Bard still ring true today. I wonder if they'll ever find that golden snitch in Bodmin Moor. I adore the day. I wish I had the courage to go into the forest. What? Pardon me, but were you saying something? Oh, hello. Talking to myself. I'm Clementine Willetsy. Charmed. I was musing on the precious butterflies I see near the edge of the forest. Whenever I come near, they fly off into it. When I was at Hogwarts, we truly were forbidden from entering the forest. Told horrible stories about it, and I've had an irrationally intense fear of it ever since. It's silly, but I'm insatiably curious as to where the butterflies go in the forest. You couldn't possibly find out, could you? You want me to follow the butterflies? I do, yes, if you wouldn't mind. But very well. If I have time, I shall see where they lead. Oh, how kind. Students these days have so much more courage than I ever did. You can usually find me right around here. I hope to see you soon. <laughs> A little bit of alcoholic, are we? Folks still talk about... Don't forget, the butterflies always seem to be on the fringes of the forbidden forest. Good luck. Okay, I don't give a fuck about the butterflies right now, lady. Acquire and use a focus potion? Oh, wait. Okay. I'm doing this because I'm here. Acquire Maxima. I'm going to go to the potion shop and see if he sells this because that could save me a lot of, a lot of time. Put 
Okay, um... Back to the potion shop. Focus potion, Maxima, and Eduris. Hey! Yeah, everything a young student might need when it yeah, comes to potions. Yeah, you know, I apologize if I left a little briskly earlier. I need... Do so. Focus potion. Okay. And then Maxima. And Aduris. Okay, so buy this. <clears throat> a wise decision. Thank you. Yeah. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Acquire and use a focus potion. Okay. What does this do? There we go. Fire Maxima and a Duris potion. Use them simultaneously. Duris. Maxima. Excellent. Y'all look sick. Ten potions class during the day. Okay, so we, we nailed that. So now we can... Uh, quests. The Day Jilin Keys. Locate on map. We'll go put this in our chest to see what that's talking about. Oh, this is the to this must oh. be my house chest. I seems I'll need to find more house tokens if I'm to open this. Well, quite a few by the look. Oh of it. my god, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Oh, it says on the bottom left, sixteen. Well, I guess who ain't doing that shit right now? It's me, it's your boy, me. Okay, um. Flying class, I want to do this first. And then we'll go to flying class. Clockwise. Hello, I'm here for potions class during the day. When Professor Sharp is so intimidating. What are we making today? Look how proud he is. And this is a purple thing. If you drink this, it'll make your penis fall off. Ha ah, ha, ah, good luck. Yeah, this bitch is still in a whole case of potions. Professor? No. Okay. How are your assignments coming along? <laughs> Professor Sharp, hurry the fuck up. I completed your assignments, Professor. Good. You should be ready to learn to pulso. Let's see what you can do. De pulso. Concentrate. Do not let your mind wander. Easy. You've got it now. If you'd like to practice, and I think you should, perhaps best not to go flinging your car. The pulso. It's a purple. Oh my god! About the halls. I suggest having a go at the enchanted books here. Depulsor. Well done. I'm glad to see that you seem staunchly determined to master your spellcasting. Depulsor. 
still at it, I see. Well, repetition can be an excellent teacher. Depulso! Okay. Depulso seems kind of sick. I guess. Alright, I suppose we'll go to flying class now. I have any I don't have anything near there. I guess this is close enough, maybe. This is not gonna be a hard game for me to finish, by the way, because I'm I'm addicted to it. I'm loving it. Revelio. Broken broom. Mm. Oh hell yeah. I asked him to cart a chew to me in transfiguration. <laughs> Who do you think will fall from their broom first? Not me. How nice to see you, my young friend. Thank you. Everybody grab a broom and we shall get started. Okay, I've never flown a broom ever. Uh, I don't Mr. have a broom. Clotten, your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. Welcome. Hello. Hello. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely. As broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Uh, not a fan, I take it? <laughs> Not a fan. Now, let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For Good. those who need a refresher, step up to your broom. Say up firmly and clearly. Then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Up. Thank you. Now, your turn. Up. Up. Up, you stupid ratty school broom! Up. Up, oh. goddamn. Eating ass, baby. One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. Uh. Okay. And if you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. Oh, shit! Good. Now, for your first lesson, fly through each ring in the courtyard. Do take care. The brooms are school property. This will take some getting used property. to. I want them returned ah, in one piece. Ah, I think I'm getting the hang of this. That was easy. Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? Acclimatized? Is it acclimated or is it? It's, I've never heard that word, I don't think. This next set of rings will take you around the grounds for more of a challenge. What a view. <laughs> Hello. Nice day for a flight. Thank you. Made it. Oh, did anyone else see that? Oh, this is sick. This is sick. Ah, oh, the old boathouse. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as the first year. This is sick. I see Q on the bottom Whoa. left. Our aquatic resident likes to make an appearance once in a while. <gasps> and I want to click it, but I'm also afraid of what's going to happen. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Brilliant. Blind is not the best, by the way. Oh, well done. Have a moment. I wish I could fly where I was pointed instead of having to hit space to go up and down. I say, I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. Mm, you're damn right. But I'm getting am. ahead of myself. We haven't properly met. I'm Everett Clopton. Am I right in suspecting that a Slytherin like you might be interested in making an escape from class? <laughs> Won't we get in trouble? Now fuck that. Let's go. Can't say no to that. What did you have in mind? A bit of a detour, so to speak. Follow me. The tour is about to begin. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely as ever. I hope <laughs> the headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. Chris, where are you going? Nice to get above it all, isn't it? Oh, yeah, this is sick. Ahead of the gardens, the Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. Bit claustrophobic for my taste. How is Everett flying so quickly? Here's something handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. <laughs> now that's more like it. You sure you're not part hippogriff? Ooh, we're flying now, bitch! There's the famous bridge. Think of all the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it. And the Owlery. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? Flying tips and a jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tall Everett. That's Kagawa's whistle. This concludes our tour. Best hurry back. This concludes the interview. Dude, there's no like smooth way. Most you have to like. Is already dismissed class. Better hurry and hand in our brooms. Dismount here. Landing is unavailable right now. And where have you two been? Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. Mr. Clopton, I am disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're still because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But, Professor. Enough. Class is finished for the day. Hello? What about me? As for you. You do well to use better judgment in the future. Chin up. That was some rather good flying. Hmm. Hmm. Sorry about that business with Kagawa, but you have to admit those views were worth it. It was worth losing a few house points for that detour. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I have to purchase a broom then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spintwitch's in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. Well, I know what I'm doing. I had a little bit of a uh, challenges quests that's a dope mask so it's a new outfit scan I think is what that is let's go check it out oh no nope, nope.
How's that? Looking good. That's actually sick too, though, by the way. I'll rock that. Got the little purple going on underneath. Talents. Oh, that's this. Okay. Um, what was this? Um, what else I was gonna do? Oh, map. I'm gonna go back to Hogsmeade. See if the sporting store is open. Cause it seems like it was locked, probably just because I hadn't taken flying lessons yet. Hogsmeade, here I come. How did you fare? If you're keen for some illicit spell practice, <sighs> meet me outside the, the, way. the dark arts classroom. I know a discreet place near there. Oh, Sebastian, fuck yeah, let's go. Ah, new face. Wonderful. Thank you. Hello, Mr. Weeks, is it? Alby Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Yeah. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. I had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And I've only just returned, thankfully, with inventory. I presume you're in the market for a new broom? Got a few rare yew weavers available, ember dash, silver arrows, wind wisps too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. Do you mind sharing more about your brooms? I have a passion for them. Every detail of every model. Take wind wisps. Well known for their quality ash handles. Yew weavers are rare because some fear flying them, likely to do with the yew one's darker reputation. Ooh, you. Then you add the okay. ember dash, known for its handsome appearance. Working with brooms every day makes me practically giddy. It's one of many reasons I cherish running this shop. <laughs> Sounds quite the array of brooms. I'll have a look around. Thank you. What are we looking for today? I'm looking for a you weaver. That item is of the highest quality. I don't know why that looks like shit. <laughs> that looks wild. That item is of the highest quality. The Ember Dash is... Yeah, I don't like that shit. Though it matches my wand, which I do like. That item is of the highest quality. But this is just sick as fuck, right? You'll be thrilled with that broom. I promise you. Well, thank you. You fucking fun of a bitch. Thanks for stopping by. Whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancements? Go on. Ha! Knew I was right about you. I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. What I need is someone to conduct a broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. I'm down. As it happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Rays, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? Fuck yeah. That sounds intriguing. I'll see what I can do. 
Thank you. It'll be worth your while. If I'm right, the new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. And I can give you a special price. The time trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Reyes will sort you out. Don't mind if Once you I beat Imelda's do. time, be sure to let me know. Or as soon as you can. I have an idea for somewhere you can focus on your studies away from prying eyes and distractions. <clears throat> don't mind if I do. <sighs> don't worry about me. I hate it when a green coat's gonna be better than my legendary. Okay, good. I actually like this coat. We'll rock this for a bit. Oh, I had a different scarf. When did I get a new scarf? Oh, it's a piece of shit. Got it. Hey, before I leave, you want to buy some shit, sir? What are we looking for today? I'm looking to sell you this shit right here. Don't need it. Please get rid of it. Nice doing business with you. And this, you can have it as well. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, relax. Relax. Okay, um, Hogwarts map. Where was the Quidditch bitch shit at? Flight test. There we go. I actually don't know how to use my broom. Oh, three. Levioso. That's not it. Tab three. Oh, that's fucking weird. If it isn't Slytherin's newest broom talent. Hi, bitch. Hello, Imelda. Albie Weeks sent me. <laughs> Did he now? Still tinkering with his broom upgrade, no doubt. I tried to help him once. He nitpicked my flying technique, and that was the end of that. The nerve. Why is he roping you into his broom testing silliness? You've barely started flying from what I know. Caught wind of you showing off in flying class with Clopton. Hmm, you sound jealous, bitch. Seems someone's jealous of my skills on a broom. Me, Slytherin Quidditch captain, jealous of you. Everyone knows that class is only for beginners, troublemakers, and bumbling baboons. But for some reason, now people think you're competition. Ugh, I can't be having that. Perhaps I am competition. You can't be what passes for Slytherin these days. Pfft, ragged old hats dropping at standards. Enough of this. Only one way to find out who's the better flyer. I hold one of the fastest times on this course. Let's see if you can beat it. Slytherin versus Slytherin. Sure. Actually, why not? I can beat your record. I'm so looking forward to seeing you lose. A liar. Shut the fuck up, okay? It's gonna be easy. Success. I can't see these bubbles. Oh, sweet God. Brilliant. Made it. Okay. Oh shit. Did it. I don't know what the fuck these bubbles are actually. They kind of seem like I'm cheating. 
just throwing it out there. We are hauling dick and balls, let me tell you that. <laughs> this is rather fun. Bitch, I beat your top out for a minute. You are trash. You are garbage. Hmm. Complete the tasks I've given you and then meet me in my classroom to learn Defindo, the severing charm. Sharp, shut it's the typically used to cut an object, but can be a powerful weapon when needed. Okay, Sharp, relax. Ugh, that's not... You, you must have cheated, you... Ugh. Fine, you won. <sighs> Don't think this is over. You can't determine skill from one single trial. Surely my win means something. Uh, you're not terrible. But you're still going to have to prove yourself if you want to earn my respect. Listen, I don't give a fuck. About I don't want respect from the likes of you. All you do is insult people. You and everyone else need to get a thicker skin. Anyway, I'm moving on to the next course. It's near Irondale and offers a much tougher challenge. You can try to prepare by racing this course again. Just check in at the podium where the leaderboard is. You can check your time and start the race. We'll see next time if your win here was more than just a fluke. Whilst on an errand for Albie Weeks. Guess what? You got shit on. There you are. The cross one's duelist to beat. That's me. Here I am. I like to be called uh, the baddest motherfucker in the world, personally. What the fuck is going on there? You see fireworks? Oh, there you are. The baddest motherfucker that's ever lived. See? See how much better that sounds? Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Bitch, we fast traveled here. Not ah. much of the dark heart. Oh, you're back! We've something to Rebellion. Rebellion. try on. Relax. Mr. Weeks, I was able to set a record on my broom. Incredible! Miss Ray's must have been shocked. Tell me, how was the broom? A little turbulent, and it's wanting for a bit of speed, but it fared well enough. I will say that it tended to drift a bit to the left on certain turns. Heard a slight swoosh when I dipped. Oh, thank you. Mm, that's precisely what I needed to know. <sighs> Drifted, eh? I shall get to work immediately. Even the naysayers will be forced to admit that my work's had potential all along. Can you hear the fuck up? I'm excited to hear more. I have a very good feeling about this upgrade. I guarantee you'll be pleased. Expect to hear from me soon. Hmm. How to address the issue of altitude as it relates to speed? Did I get more gear? I don't, why did I have not transmogged my fucking... No, no, no. I hit the wrong thing. Why have I not transmogged my neck? This is something dope. Kind of fits with it. Huh. See that gold right there? This is nice, though. It matches the damn shit. This should look kind of look like a badass, huh? Huh. Flying mounts. Good day. I require assistance to the delivery. Hmm. Easy. You're lucky. I'm here. I'm here. And I'm willing to work for coin. Come on in. Healing potions are a speciality here, should you need any. Bitch, I'm here for the work you had for me. Hello, Mr. Pippin. You need help with the delivery? Yes, I do. A capable student such as yourself should have no trouble making the trip to Cambridge. It's just south of Hogwarts. What do you need delivered? Fatima Lawang ordered a few invisibility potions. I used to go myself, but lately Fatima has taken to turning every visit into an argument. 
constantly complaining about the quality of my stock. But how can I maintain excellence when she orders so often, giving me no time to brew? If you'd take this rather irritating task off my hands, I'd happily allow you to claim the delivery fee from Fatima. <laughs> she sounds annoying. I'd be happy to help with the delivery. You've no idea how grateful I am, truly. Here are the invisibility potions she requested. Hopefully she won't give you too much trouble. She's a talented potioner in her own right. I dare say I wouldn't mind having a look at her potion recipes one day. I dare say I might just steal these fucking potions. Hmm. I can't fly from here? Because I'm in a city, I guess? Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Is there anything in this water? Oh. Wait a minute, am I tripping? Wait a minute. Don't I have... A fast travel here? No, I do not. I have one here, though. Cut out some of the trip. I was, what, 1,700? Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. Cut out a lot of the trip. What's up, spider bitches? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Watch out. <laughs> have I been this far out? I don't think I have. Oh, cabin? Revelio. Oh, shit. Look what Revelio does while I'm flying. Speed burst toggle. Use some of these other spells. What was it? Four? Dispelio? Hey, bitch. Depulsa. Oh, Depulsa. Huh. Hey, Y'all suck. I know one more thing I hear to. No. Okay. Revelio. The door is locked. Please. Spiders. I have arrived, bitch. Wonder who lives here. Hello. Revelio. Reveal yourself. Okay. Crookedest house I've ever seen. Always leak that Pippin. Listen, I got you, girl, right here. Madam Luang, I have a delivery from J. Pippin's potions. Ha! 
sent a child to do his work for him, did he? Always cutting corners and taking the easy way out. Did he have your bro them for him as well? Doesn't matter. You could probably do it better <laughs> than he can anyway. Yeah, why the fuck did you Why do you keep ordering from him if you think the quality to be inferior? It would seem I have more and more customers who are trying to stay out of sight. I'm not one to judge. You can simply imagine the stress I'm under to deliver quality products. Unlike some vendors, I strive to keep my customers satisfied. Here are the potions you requested. You think it's so simple? I know Pippin is always trying to cheat his customers. Cutting corners to save some galleons for himself at the expense of quality. You'll not be getting a canut out of me until you prove the potion works. Oh, I'll get a nut out of you. What? Seems simple enough. I'll do it. I should think so. Well, good job. Drink an invisibility potion. Don't mind if I do. Bye, bitch. It seems to have worked. Hmm. Well, I suppose that will do. If the demand for potions is as high as you say, have you considered being easier to work with? Perhaps combining your recipes and skills? Ha! <laughs> Not a chance. That ne'er do well had his shop handed to him. The rest of us had to make our own way. I'll not give him the benefit of my hard work and gumption. If he fails on his own, so be it. Hmm. Kind of like a bitch, huh? Very well. I shall let Mr. Pippin know I delivered the potions as requested. You do that. What do you have for sale? Hmm. What are we looking for today? Bitch, you... Your shit is garbage! No wonder you're about to be out of business. But you're broke ass. This will do just fine. Thank you. Yeah, buy my shit. Thank you for stopping in. No, and you can barely afford it. I appreciate it. it. My mother used to say I was lazy. Wouldn't pick up my mother used to say I was lazy. Let's see what's up your sleeve this time, Merlin. Yeah, Merlin. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get some more of this damn pussyfoot. Or what's it called? Marshmallow? Let me be real honest. Revelio. I did not see anything. Hmm. Hmm. Seems a pleasant enough little place. <gasps> I did see a giant fucking ball up here. But where is it supposed to go? That is the question. Clearly over that. Let's hit it with a little bit of repulso. Here you go. A little more. Here you go. Now, some might be asking where, oh, where does repulso go? Let's find out. Probably over the bridge, right? Oh no, but the graveyard looks sick. Okay, yep, over the bridge. We were right. Okay, we know what we're doing. Okay. The pulsar. Come with me, bitch. Okay, apparently I'm weak as fuck. The pulsa. Yes, it's gonna go in. It's gonna go in. Come on. Like, oh, you bitch.
Oh, come on! What's that? Settled. Braylon, you ain't worth the fuck. Okay. Easiest shit I've ever done. All right. Somebody over here want to ass whooping. Oh, wait a minute. This only get hurt by fire. Smith. Incendio. Revelio. What are y'all protecting over here? What's in here? Literally nothing. I guess it's just a way to farm stench of the dead. Okay. Hogs made. Meet here I come. Hello there. In the market for potions, are we? Bitch, it's me. I delivered the potions to Fatima Luang. Very good. And uh, did she cause you any trouble? Well, I can see why you didn't want to go. She was quite cantankerous. I do truly appreciate your help. And at least it's done with. Delivering those potions was a bit more work than I'd expected. I'd like an additional <laughs> Goddamn fee. Goddamn right! I suppose that's business for you. Very well, I shall increase your pay, but I'm not at all pleased about it. Best of luck with your potions, Mr. Pippin. Do take care. I can pay me. How much did I get? Five hundred dollars? Sheesh. Okay, um. What is this for? Meet Sebastian. Ooh, yes. Wait a minute. Conjuring spell? Evanesco? Conjuration spell? Yo, that's amazing. Oh. Acquire and use a Thunder Brew potion against enemies. Hmm. 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 Excuse me, sir. We have everything a young student might need when it comes to potions. Yeah. Have a good look around. Do you have what's called a Thunder Brew potion? Hmm. A thousand? A wise decision. Jesus Thank Christ. You. The fucking teacher think I'm rich? The fuck is this? What the fuck is that paper doing? Aki. Fuck over here. Come on. Get 
far enough out? Oh, another fucking page. What the hell's going on, but... Don't mind if I do. I just need to find any enemies. Huh. Enemies. Where's that thunder brew at? Where's that thunder... Thunder bussy? What's it look like? Thunder brew. That's it. Hey, wolves. Oh, God, that hurt. Oh, no. Yes. Thunderbrew is sick. Look at this. Can I take it with me? Oh, I am rolling thunder. I am death incarnate. What the fuck is this? Revelio. Fudge. All this for some fudge? Merlin quest. Accio. Expelliarmus. Hmm. All right, what kind of horse shit you got going on over Could here this time? A Merlin trial. Okay. See all those fucking things. I see where they go. Maybe this isn't where they go. Revelio. Hmm. Maybe these stack on top of each other. Accio. That doesn't work. Leviosa. That doesn't work. Incendio. Incendio doesn't Expelliarmus. do anything. Hmm. Uh. Hmm. Revelio. Merlin, you think you're smart. You really think you're smart. Not as smart as me. Dun, dun, dun. Merlin himself would be proud. Dun, 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 dun. All right, great job, me. You're brilliant. You are brilliant. I see somewhere to swim and dive and other things. Whoop, whoop. Unidentified neck item. It's so sick that you can jump right in and out of the water on the broom. <gasps> this is a butterfly she was asking about. <laughs> there they are. She wasn't making it up. Where are you going? Well, we've come this far. Miss Willardsy might get an answer about these butterflies. <laughs> Whoops. Huh. 
All right. Where are we going, butterflies? Do it since we're here. I feel like this broom might be overkill now. Okay, let me get off. Where are we going? <gasps> well, well. Look what we have here. I'm not gonna lie, I have no fucking clue what I just picked up. Rebellion. Did I do a thing? Did a good job? Hmm. I love danger. Incendio. Expelliarmus. Get shit shit on. Get your shit 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 on. Revelio. Oh, it's you. Accio. Get your ass down. Incendio. Eight legs is slow. You tell me it's nothing up here. Spider fang, I don't give a fuck about that. Why the fuck am I climbing? I got a broom. Um. Okay, uh, we need to go to quests. Return to Professor Sharp. Okay. Professor Sharp, and then... Maybe we will. Professor Sharp. Why did I teleport to that one? resource I indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Fucking piece of shit will run up on me? Did I make anything? I mean, I got so many of these fucking things. I'll make this and I'll pick it up on my way out. All right. Have you finished your assignments? Yes, bitch. I finished the tasks, Professor. Well, well. I trust you are meticulous in your efforts. After all, shortcuts only ever lead to shortcomings. Don't ever say coming to me like that again. Well, I don't know about meticulous, but I did as I was asked. I'd advised doing more than the bare minimum if you want to hone your skills as quickly as possible. Talent and resolve are a potent combination. It would be a shame to let that go to waste. Thank you, Professor. Don't let it go to your head. Now, let's see how you fare with Defindo. Wand at the ready. Focus. Defindo can be dangerous if you're not paying attention. Easy. Hmm. Very good. It seems you have a grasp on Defindo. I would encourage. I would encourage you to shut the fuck up. What color is Defindo? Red. 
Slashes objects and enemies from afar, dealing considerable damage. Once again, to practice here in the classroom, for your sake and that of everyone else. What do you mean this? It's a pleasure to have a student who actually heeds in function. Expelliarmus. Incendium. Leviosa. Akio. Kapulsa. Defendo. As I mentioned earlier, Defendo can be versatile but dangerous. Kapulsa. Also. All right, we did it. All right, we kicked that son of bitches. <gasps> Where are we going, little fella? Wait for it. Excellent. <laughs> Bitch. Give me my house token. Now, quests. All the butterflies return to her house tokens. Use the map with floating candles to find the ship. I don't care about any of that right now. Let's go here. Lee Sebastian. No, no, no. I want to do this one. I'll meet Sebastian in a second. It's about halfway between these two. We'll do this one. Oh, oh, oh. God, I'm watching Jurassic Park tonight. <laughs> That's it. Professor Weasley. Why did you want to meet me in this creepy ass place? Hmm. Somewhere away from prying eyes. Yo. That was sick as fuck. I don't want to skip. Forgive me, the headmaster stopped me and I... Merlin's beard. I see you've wasted no time. Well done. I didn't do this. Shall we? Off to you, Professor. Professor, I'm, I ain't gonna tell you, but this shit had nothing to do with me. Also... You better keep that little skirt on. That's all I'm saying. What is this place? This is the womb of requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. Ordinarily, a student might stumble upon this room entirely Rebellion. by accident. If ever. I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now. Where is Deke? Now, take your pants off. Sneaked past and gone ahead. Deke, Professor. The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Thought he might help you use the room once you've found it. There's no chance I'm clambering over this mess. Hmm. This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco, the vanishing spell. You can cast Evanesco to vanish certain objects, such as these chairs and other things here in the room. I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away. Good God, the spells in this game. Oh, this shit is smooth with it, okay. A 
got him. Evanesco. Splendid. Now, cast Evanesco on those chairs. First things first. All right. This shit is pissing me off. Talents. Core. There we go. Um. Okay, I still wanted. What? I don't really know what that means. We're gonna put all of our non-combat stuff here. Should probably do it on this. Who cares? It's fine. Excellent work. You'll note that you are now in possession of Moonstone. We shall discuss its uses later. Revelio. Right. Where in Merlin's name is that elf? I don't know, but is I'm... That goodness. My old school bag. I wondered where that had got to. A few more inches of parchment. I can't believe it's tea. still here. Huh. I'll just take a quick look at this. Give you an opportunity to explore on your own until we locate Deke. Yes, Professor. Can I finally run? Thank you. Revelio. Jesus. Oh, dear me. Can't you keep it down? Some <laughs> of us are trying to rest. I apologize. Um, shit out of here. Revelio. Accio. Boy can climb. All that for some pieces of shit. Revelio. How am I supposed to get that? Oh fuck my ass. So I can probably pull that down, huh? Akio. Doesn't look like I can. Yeah, I can. Revelio. Delicious. Wrong button. Hope this isn't as precarious as it looks. He fucking fell down. Revelio. Bit offended. The room thought I needed a bath. <laughs> Ooh, this is cool looking. Stand your ass up. How does anyone other than a house elf manage to get around in here? God damn it. Three. What was that? A Quidditch thing. Was that a golden stitch? Yeah. Perhaps you should summon your wits and find out. Revelio. <laughs> 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 I need to get up high anywhere. Or just I see a bag back there. I passed. I don't like passing bags, okay? 
Revelio. Accio. That mask looks creepy as hell. Look at that. Revelio. Can I pull this bitch in here? Akio. Nah. The Bolsa. Akio. Oh, nice. Revelio. Wait a minute, didn't it say? I hope that house elf can find us in here. Defender. Defender. Guess not. Revelio. Follow the floating candles. What's up, little homie? Yikes! Careful! Huh? Oh, there you are. Wait right there. Deke will come to you. Hey, look at my fucking coat. <laughs> Hello. Ah, oh, Deke. We've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? Indeed it is. Deke is honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. Of course. The room of requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deep seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the Room of Hidden Things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Now, it's time to focus on what you need. Yes. Just close your eyes. Imagine the room precisely as you need it. The room will do the rest. Uh, oops. No, I should probably watch out. Because there's about to be a room full of bitches. Big ass titties gonna be flopping down from the wall. Oh, this room about to stink. Oh, you don't even know. Wait a minute, this isn't what I was imagining. You've given yourself quite a canvas to work with. Look at that shitting grin that was on his face. I look forward to seeing what you do with the space. Ah, and it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description. Excellent. It can identify unfamiliar items of clothing. One should always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed. 
We've unlocked this. Oh. Absolute pieces of shit. Got it. You'll find plenty of items of clothing that need to be identified. The desk will be an invaluable resource. How the fuck? Revelio. Am I supposed to get back to this motherfucker? Oh. <laughs> Bitch. Don't make me do it. Instantly. I imagine the desk of description will come in handy. It will. I hope you'll take advantage of it. Now, I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. The room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring? Yes. The magic of creating or conjuring objects. I'll teach you. Hell yeah. Okay. Space, space, F, left click. Okay. I can now conjure. Very good. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts are like recipes. They list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. You should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. I did. Where can I find the resources I need? While resources such as Moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands, it's much safer and easier to purchase them. They can also be collected by vanishing objects in the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. In fact, you should have enough resources for now. I see. Can I regain resources by vanishing something I've already conjured? You can indeed. Hmm, quite perceptive. Why don't you give it a try? Go ahead and conjure the potion station and potting table. You should find both familiar since they'll resemble the ones you've already used to study magical plants and brew potions in class. Oh, this is sick, by the way. Got my own little... Like, area of operations. Oh shit, they can look different. I like this red one. Yo, this is sick as fuck! How do I rotate? Oh, with the mouse wheel. Got it. Alright, potions. Potions, potions. This is good a place as any. Actually, let's put it right here at an angle. Right on this wall. Oh, you can, I can change to how they look. Oh, okay, so I can check them out. Cool. I like the one I got. Okay. Now let's do those potions. Herbology. Snap that against the wall. Well done. You can use these whenever you need to brew potions or grow plants. Presuming, of course, you've collected any seeds or potion ingredients you need in Hogsmeade or outside the castle grounds. I could have changed the color of this bitch. It's kind of already reddish, though. It's fine.
Yo, this is fucking sick. Like, what a cool Deke way to do. Here to answer any questions you may have. Do not underestimate his insights. Um. Can I use this type of transfiguration magic outside of the room? Conjuring and vanishing are strictly forbidden elsewhere in the castle. We've charms in place to enforce that. It would be exhausting to reverse the errors in both judgment and magic. But the room of requirement has its own rules. Hmm. Can you tell me a bit more about Deke? He's been at Hogwarts longer than I have and seems to know it's every nook, cranny and secret. We discovered this room together when I was a student. Deke has had a good deal of experience, both here at Hogwarts and at a previous post. I shall let Deke tell you more when he's ready. But again, you would be wise to listen to any suggestions he may have. I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use in the room. Yes, of fucking course I would. Got some rugs. I'm ready for the next lesson, Professor. Very well. First, you'll need to gather some moonstone. Bitch, I got like 140. You can acquire it by vanishing items here in the room of requirement, or you can gather it carefully outside of the Hogwarts grounds. Return to me once you've gathered enough, and we shall begin the lesson. Bitch, do you not see what's in my pockets? I have the moonstone you requested, Professor. Good. Then we may begin your lesson. You can conjure more than potions and herbology tables. Conjuration can be used to decorate this space to your liking. Why don't you try it on the walls and floor? Wall decorations, floor decoration. Rugs. Yeah. No, bitch. There you go. I want it long ways, maybe? Is that better? I don't think I like that. I think I'll do it. It's not centering and it's really triggering the shit out of me. Oh my God, it's not centering. Oh, that bothers me so much. Deke hasn't seen this many plants here before. What are you talking about? But I can't put fucking things Deke over here. I cannot believe how many beasts you have here. Whatever, just go. Fine. do all rugs do i wait a minute these are floor decorations too oh oh fuck yes dick thinks you should be proud of all the potions you've brewed there we go put another one over here Oh, I can't. Change size? What? Yo! The biggest fucking ch <laughs> Okay. 
we got here? The candelabras. Why this is like a non playable space right there? Irritating. Put that over there, and let's put one over here somewhere. Okay, I'm about to get rid of this fucking chair. All right, wall decorations. Playing with giant balls? Oh, you know that's what I love doing. Oh my God, it's huge. I love it. That's too fucking huge. I cannot believe how many beasts you have here. Deke thinks you should be proud of all the potions you've brewed. I am. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Undo. Good work. Shall we move on? Relax. I want to see what this is. A long mirror. Deke hasn't seen this many plants here before. All right, bitch. Tables. Put the biggest table known to man here for no reason. Actually, that looks lamish. But we'll do a smaller one. Okay. But you see, I still got plenty of fucking, um, actually. Defender. Oh, fuck. I'm sorry. Shit out of here. Guess what? Get that shit out of here, too. You've been practicing. I've conjured everything I can. What's next, Professor? I think you're ready to take on alteration. The altering spell will allow you to customize any conjured item. You can change the colors, patterns, and styles of your furniture to suit your taste. Let's get started, shall we? Watch closely as I demonstrate how to perform the altering spell. This is another bullshit I gotta learn. Oh my god. Just aim your wand at any... ...and perform the altering spell to customize it. the style of an item nicely done 
Now you're ready for something a little more advanced. You can use the altering spell directly on the room's architecture. Oh my god! Try these new designs on the floor or balcony. Try aiming at the floor or at that balcony. It warms my heart to see your Western pathology, dare I say, blossom. Yo, this is sick! I like this one. Your space might benefit from a bit of ambiance, don't you think? Deke, would you mind? Of course, Professor Weasley. Professor Weasley showed Deke this bit of magic some years ago. Deke thinks you'll enjoy it. Uh, come and talk to Deke when you're ready. All right, first things first, hang on. Relax, relax, Deke. Deke make me leak, is what I always like to say. Okay, rich mahogany, change this. It was already gothic. All right, we'll leave that. How about this? I like that door. Dee cannot believe how many beasts you have here. should be proud of all the potions you've brewed. I think I am. Okay, fella. I change the way this looks. I think I like this one. Hey, what else, Deke? Change this fucking bitch of a statue right here. Yo. I like that thing. It warms my heart to see your interest in pathology, dare I say, blossom. How do I change just that? There we go. Have those match. can't grab them i don't want to change the ceiling actually though i was trying to um change these i actually like the ones with these on them I'm trying to like not do all the same thing. Oh yeah, that's the whole shit. Yeah. I do want them to be a bit Change. Wait a minute. Can I change just the light? The light. Oh, 
Oh, it's the whole ceiling. Okay, okay. Let me try these walls again. I don't know that these are my favorite walls. Maybe they are. Okay, I think we're good. Professor Weasley said I should ask you about changing the room's ambience. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? Cool moonlit, natural and earthy, dark and mysterious. That's me, baby. I'd like the room to feel mysterious and eerie, as if I'm in the forbidden forest, surrounded by shadows. Oh, sounds perfect. Well, isn't that gonna about to be brilliant? Oh, fuck yes. Yes. Hmm. Quite a difference. Yeah, you of like course, that shit, you huh? needn't keep this style if you don't like it. You can always ask Deke to change it back. Now you have learned a good bit about alteration. Thank you, Professor. The room is full of possibilities. Indeed. No matter how much time I spend here, the room always manages to surprise me. This is such a cool fucking way to do this. What the fuck is this? My house is big as hell. All right, I don't have time to be do doing all this shit right An now. Even bigger space. How did that happen? The room equips itself to your needs. It must have sensed that you needed more space to practice spell casting. If you'd like to customize the space further, you can use these spell crafts. You'll find more of them both inside and outside the school. Thank you, Professor. I shall keep an eye out. Good. I'll leave you to it. This is your space now. Use it wisely. Deke thinks you should be proud of all the potions you've brewed. Deke, I am, brother. Okay. This shit is sick. This will be my slithering room in here. Change these walls up a bit. Slytherin, we'll do botanical in this bitch. Green match is pretty good. I like this one with the, the loft. I like that. Let's change this wall. I'm not going to do furniture and stuff right now. I guess this is just all botanical in here. Just because of the green floor, I think it looks it looks the best. Change this big wall, and then we're done. I don't mind this on this wall. Okay. Um, now did she give me any other spells? Dressing screen, don't give a fuck about none of this right now.
three burners. Okay, I'm done in here. I'm not currently tracking anything. Okay, I need to get the fuck up out this room. That's right, I got to go see the homie. I would love to know how to get back to where I'm at, though. Secret rooms. Okay. So I click that and I go to secret rooms. Got it. Um, Where does he want me to go? Meet Sebastian. Okay, so we go here and then we go... This looks pretty close to him. can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented blue powder. I was very close. Over here. What's up, homie? Sebastian, it's been a while. It has. Glad you received my owl. I have something to show you. First, let me thank you for what you did in the library. Of course. Scribner tried to give me detention. But I have ways out of these things. Well, you took the fall for me, and that counts for something. Did you find what you were looking for? I did, but something was missing. I'm not sure here is the best place to discuss it. Understood. We can talk more in a moment, in the Undercroft. Not even the professors know about this place. I find that hard to believe. This way. Lead ahead. Let's go. There's a secret passage just here. It's well disguised. With the skull painting, huh? Ooh. Glad I know how to do that. And this is not well disguised, by the way. And why the fuck aren't you coming with me? How did you find this place? My friend, Ominous Gaunt. Revelio. He named it the Undercroft. We used to play gobstones here all the time. With my sister, Anne. She loved that infernal game. What I wouldn't give to lose to her again. I should tell you, I swore to Ominous I would safeguard this place. So please, keep this between us. Okay. She never confides in anyone. But he's trusted me since the day we met. I wouldn't want to jeopardize that. We used to sneak in here almost daily. We've never been caught. I know Ominous. Met him in our common room. I've noticed he uses his wand to navigate the castle. He does. No idea how, though. Ominous was born blind, and no spell could reverse it. His wand seems almost sentient. Not surprising, I suppose. Ollivander always says, the wand chooses the wizard. Is that how he found this place? No, someone in his family knew about it. The Gaunts are full of secrets. I've never heard anyone else speak of it. And I've certainly never seen anyone else here. Again, mention this to no one, especially Ominous. He has no love lost for his family or their secrets, but this place is special to him. Of course. Ominous spoke to me about his family when we first met. To say that he has no love lost for them is an understatement. Glad you understand. Anyway, the Undercroft has been a perfect place to sneak off to, away from prying eyes and even practice otherwise forbidden spells. Oh, hell really? yeah. Like what? Like the blasting curse. Professors say it's not an appropriate spell to teach students. It's ridiculous. A proper magical education ought to include all magic. My thoughts exactly. A spell like Confringo is only truly dangerous in untrained hands. Such spells should be properly taught, not banned. To be fair, I'm admittedly partial to more fiery forms of magic, but you should learn it. 
I can teach it to you safely here. I'm fucking down. It may take a while to get the feel for it. Mimic my wand movement. The incantation is Confringa. Very well. Do you like that? You're getting it. Ready to actually try it out? Stick to the target. My God. I don't even have that one unlocked. Um. Best to keep the Undercroft intact. Have a go at those Revelios. Both have their uses, but I think you'll find Confring it. Confring nice work. How's it feel? It's a tad hot. That's it. I think well I've got done. it. I have to say, I enjoyed that. The first time Ominous and I practiced Confringo, we singed our eyebrows. <laughs> I would have paid to see that. I swore we'd never live it down. So this day, there's something about that spell that's addictive. This is exactly the type of magic I've been hoping to learn. There's more where that came from. I've been practicing similar spells here for ages. Although, I didn't tell Anne and Ominous about every one. I haven't been here in some time. It's not the same without Anne. I'm sorry about your sister. If there's anything I can do... Perhaps when I next head to Felcroft, you could come along. Meet Anne. She could use some cheering up. Just let me know when and I'll meet you. Oh, she misses Hogwarts. She's been stuck at home with our guardian, Uncle Solomon. Unfortunately, you'll have to meet him too. Well, meeting a new student will be precisely what she needs. I shall look forward to it. Cheers. By the way, what was it you couldn't about discuss tell out in the hall earlier? I'm not sure where to start. You said something was missing from what you found in the library. Might it have something to do with Victor Rookwood? He didn't mistake you for someone else at all in Hogsmeade, did he? Nothing gets past you. I'll tell you what I can. Rookwood and Ranrock are trying to recover something they think I took from a vault in Gringotts. Gringotts? When were you there? Professor Fig and I wound up there after the dragon attack. There was this port key that... A port key? To Gringotts? Well, it's all a bit convoluted. I'm listening. You must promise to keep this between us. Sebastian's I trusted the you homie. with knowledge of this secret Undercroft. You can trust me. All right. I can see traces of ancient magic. Ancient magic? I don't know what I was expecting you to say, but it wasn't that. What does that even mean? Honestly, I'm not entirely certain. All I know is that I can see whispers of an old magic that hardly anyone else can. Fig and I think that Ranrock has somehow found a way to harness that magic's power. Are you telling me that goblins may be wielding some sort of wizard magic? That's what we're trying to find out. And this ability of yours, does it allow you to wield this magic too? I... I... I don't know. Well, when you do know, tell me. I've been studying archaic forms of magic for ages. Perhaps we can help each other. In the meantime, with both Rookwood and Ranrock after you, I suspect a bit more time practicing the blasting curses in order. Spend as much time here as you'd like. And remember, keep this place between us. No problem. When I head to Feldcroft, I'll send you an owl. Confringo! So Confringo, what does it say it is? A long range bolt that deals damage on impact. Enemies hit with fire based attacks will continue to take damage. Okay. So it's just like a long range version of this. It's good against spiders. Confringo! 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 It's sick though. There's definitely something here. 
right Revelio. okay see you later oh fuck hello sebastian wait you there i can hear you oh uh hello ominous i was just heading to our common room i've recognized that voice you're the new fifth year did you just come from the undercroft how did you get in there um i don't want to tell on sebastian that room's called the undercroft Ah, well, I was exploring and then suddenly found myself in a strange passageway. Don't lie to me. No one stumbles upon that room. Sebastian told you, didn't he? You breathe a word about this place to anyone, and not even your precious Professor Fig will be able to help you. My father is friends with the headmaster. I am not afraid to exploit that connection if I need to. You needn't threaten me. I'm not going to say anything about your Undercroft. And Sebastian is a good friend. You shouldn't immediately assume the worst of him. I don't need you to tell me about my oldest friend. Thank you very much. Ominous, I just meant- I know what you meant. Sebastian gets himself in enough trouble. He doesn't need your help. Hey, why don't you go fuck Sebastian yourself? Sebastian is going to get an earful about this. Well, you certainly ain't about to get an eyeful of nothing with your blind ass. The fuck out of here. Oh. What's up, little sex? What's up, little sexy? Where we going? Where we going? Oh, fuck me. Where'd you go? Off on another adventure, are we? I seen him. Go in front of that keyhole so I can slap the shit out of you. Come on. Come on. Ah! Dad is getting them tokens, baby. Yes, he is. Um, you know what I think? Knock that shit off. You know what? Oh, <gasps> where the fuck did y'all come from? Where did everybody come from? I would like to teach. Wingardium Leviosa. Oh. It can be used to levitate objects for a short time. Once you've completed a few prerequisite tasks, do see me after class. We're about to learn Wingardium Leviosa. I said that wrong. All right, um, I'm done. I'm done with this episode. It's been two hours. There's a chance that I start another quest and it takes me to three hours. All right, so I'm gonna stop this here. But I'm gonna I'm gonna record some more right after. Fuck, I've been loving this game. Hopefully you guys have been too. You know the deal. Let me know, and I'll catch you in the next one. Yeah. Watching cartoons up in my room. Watching cartoons up in my room. Yeah. Watching cartoons up in my room. Watching cartoons up in my room. Yeah. Watching cartoons up in my room. Watching cartoons up in my room. Yeah. Watching cartoons up in my room.